we're back at the home page and we've got our nice side by side set up, let's go ahead and add our first attributions. So under our navbar, for all products, we want this to come to the current home page. Remember, we don't want anybody to be able to vote or click into the products if they aren't a member. So go ahead and set that link to page and select home. For our login button, we want this to come to our login screen. So you can see I have the hashtag ms slash login, which is right here, launch the login modal. All you need to do is copy that, come into Webflow, and then paste it there. That will launch the login modal. For our sign up button, we're gonna do the same thing. And right above it is the sign up modal, so, so same thing. You could just copy that whole thing and paste it into this URL. That part is done. Now we need to set our voted container. So if your voted container on the home screen is not a text link, just go ahead and right click and hit convert to text link. I've already done that, but yours should say convert to text link. So once you've made it a text link, now when visitors want to vote, they're not gonna be able to, they're going to have to log in. So you can go ahead and make it a sign up modal or login modal, whichever you prefer. I've gone with login here. It gives you the option to sign up as well. So just go ahead and click that and put that in here, copy and paste again. And the final spot that we're going to do it is right here on our sign up button. Same thing. We're going to use this sign up launch modal. Now we have our home page set up so that only members can dive further into the site. Everything else is locked down from non-members. Next, we need to go to the members homepage. So we're in the member only home and we're going to start at the top again. Now that we are sure we're logged in to get to this screen, we're going to go ahead and change these links accordingly. So for all products, we want that to come to this home page for members, so member only home. And we want to add this link that says my account so that we can set up a new page and have our members be able to review the comments they submitted and the products they've submitted. We can do that very easily with this nice little URL here. MemberStack does a great job and lets you set up a dynamic dashboard link. So you can go ahead and copy that and paste that in the URL here. And then we want them, to, of course, to have an option to log out. Nobody wants to be stuck in forever. So go ahead and click the log out link as well and add that in the same way. Now our header is all set up. Okay, just a couple more things to take care of. Remember, we want this to not say member, we want it to say the member's name. Pretty easy to set up. We're going to highlight this header and click the little gear icon so that we can get the custom attributes. Then over in member stock, we're going to move from links to attributes and simply copy this in. So it's going to be data-ms-member equals and this field ID is not what we're going to use. We're actually going to type in the field ID. So when you're putting this in, the data-ms-member goes in the first name and the value for us is first-name because that's what we used on the sign up field. If you used just first name, all one word, you would make sure that that's together. So if there's a space that's always represented with a dash. Lowercase is fine, just go ahead and hit save. Now when a member is logged in, they'll see their first name instead of member. That should be all we need to set up on the member only homepage. Remember, all of these are now going to be working because we have integrated member stock and that's what we told JetBoost we were going to use. So we'll test all of that out in a minute, but first let's head over to our last couple of pages and get all of our attributions set up. So we're here in the products template and all we need to set up here are our links. So come to your nav bar, make sure they all go to the correct place. Remember all products, we're logged in when we're in this page, so we're going to the member only home. Profile is now going to go to our MS profile. So over here in member stack, you would come back to links and come right here to the profile model. 
model modal <laughs> and click copy and then paste that back over here and same thing with log out you're going to go ahead and come down here to the bottom hashtag uh, ms slash ms slash log out go ahead and put that here I believe that's all the attributes that we had here remember if you already added the html text in here so I've gone ahead and expanded it. Remember we had these two HTML embeds that we were pulling uh, data and attributions from our member stack. So these will work as well now. If you haven't added them in, take a minute, hit pause, go ahead and copy these in the, from the notes and paste in two separate HTML embeds here. That should be everything here on our products template. So let's go over to our members template and then we'll be done. So we're in our members template now, and just as we've done with all of the previous steps, we're going to check our nav links and be sure we have the correct attributions. So the profile, we're gonna come over here to member stack and copy the profile, put that link in here, and log out as we've used before. Copy this one down here, log out. And all products, double check that goes to member only home. For our member name here, the good news is this we don't need an attribution for because we can pull this text from member name. You can use the attribution if you'd like, but since this is in a member database, the member name should already be there. These are all of the attributes that we need and we're ready to hit publish and take a look at our site.